Please, first of all, thank you so much for all your advice that you gave me back 2005 in New York. It was really helpful and uh, I'm really grateful for all the stuff you did for me. And uh, can I ask you one question? I, I like to ask everybody the same question and the question sounds like, if you choose just one advice to give a young drummer or maybe even just for the young jazz musician, what, what kind of advice it will be? What's the mm. most important thing? Mm. That is a very uh, deep question. <laughs> uh, first of all, you're, you're very welcome for whatever I you know, helped you with. It's my pleasure. It was my pleasure. Uh, I love this music and I love everything about being a part of it. It's a very rich tradition. So, as far as your question, if there's one piece of advice to give to a young music, jazz musician. Okay, I'll try to sh shape this answer. <laughs> so, the, the main point is to always be prepared. And so, under this being prepared heading is many aspects, right? <laughs> yeah. So, hopefully, this will make sense when I... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what does it mean to always be prepared? Okay, uh, one example is you have, uh, you have spent the time uh, studying and listening to the music so that you understand the language. That's part of being prepared. So what does that mean exactly? Okay, if you are a saxophone player, you, you know who Charlie Parker is and why he's important. You know who Coleman Hawkins is, Hawkins is and why he's important. You know who Lester Young is and why he's important. Uh, if you're a drummer, you, you, you know who uh, Joe Jones is and why he's important. You know who uh, Kenny Clark is and why he's important. You know who Max Roach is and why he's important, etc., etc. Now, beyond just knowing who they are and why they're important, you have to have spent some time uh, listening to their music, analyzing their style. Uh, and nowadays, that means you can watch videos because it's the 21st century. We have YouTube and everything you couldn't see when I was younger, you can see now. So being prepared means understanding who is important, why they're important, and spending time listening to and studying their, their work. Okay, now what is another way to be prepared? Beyond your instrument, you have to understand why it's important. So if you are a drummer, you have to know why uh, certain bass players are important. Ray Brown, Milt Hinton, Ron Carter, Dave Holland, what, who, whoever you know is important. You have to know why, beyond your instrument. Why are certain pianists uh, important to the music? Why is Errol Garner important? Why is Tommy Flanagan important? Why is Hank Jones important? Why is uh, uh, Fats Waller <laughs> important? So you, you take time to study outside of your instrument and understand how it works, how the other instruments work with your instrument. That's another way to be prepared. What's another way to be prepared? Uh, if you are, um, you have been called for a gig and that person has uh, original music, let's say. Find out, don't wait for them, you know, call, okay, did, can you send me the music? Is there some, is something I need to see and hear? And start inquiring about what that musician's, that leader's uh, concept is. If he has charts, if he has something, uh, uh, try to hear as much as you can before from that person about uh, their direction, know as much as you can about them, so that you are prepared when you arrive at the rehearsal or the recording session, you're, you have a familiarity with that person, that band leader who called you. So that's being prepared. So if I was called by Benny Golson, let's say, then I would ask Benny, you know, Mr. Golson, do you have some new arrangements, some new original music? And maybe he says, no, I, I'm going to play my, my from my uh, body of work already, you know. So that means you're gonna get familiar with his mm -hmm. music and his style and his pacing, how he paces a solo, all of these kind of things. Maybe you might go and hear him. So, you know, that that's what I mean about being prepared. 
Um, another way to be prepared is um, you're, you're practicing yourself. So if you have, uh, if you know that the gig coming up is going to include Afro-Cuban, it's going to include some Brazilian rhythms, especially if you are a drummer, then you can't just spend all of your time practicing swinging <laughs> things, you know? You have to take the time to, you know, make sure that you're clear and how the other rhythms and grooves work and uh, actually do it so that your muscles create memory of this kind mm -hmm. of different feel from maybe what you're used to. So that's another way to be prepared.